The hole feature allows you to create simple counterbore and countersink holes based on sketch points or mate connectors using ANSI, ISO, DIN, and PEM standards, or from user-defined settings. Open the hole feature and select a style from the pull-down menu. Three styles are available, simple, counterbore, and countersink. After selecting a style, pick a termination type for the hole. Three options are available, through, blind, and blind in last. A through hole passes entirely through the selected part or parts, while blind creates the hole to a specified depth. Blind in last creates the hole to a specified depth in the last or bottom of multiple selected parts. The tapped portion of the hole is placed in the last part, and the other parts are set as clearance. This is useful when adding a hole through multiple parts at once and defining the depth cut in the last part. Additional options are available based on style, termination, and type selected. For example, you can change options for the hole type, size, fit, pitch, and thread percentage to suit the application. These options are filtered as you select different options for the hole type. Four hole types are available, clearance, tapped, drilled, and tapered pipe tap. Fit sets the clearance for how hardware, such as nuts, bolts, or dowel pins pass through the hole. Let's add a few simple through holes for this first set of holes. Hole type controls expand, allowing users to define precision and tolerance values. These values propagate to the hole table and hole callouts. After setting the parameters, we need to select either sketch points or use mate connectors to place the holes. A sketch can be created beforehand and used to define the placement of each hole, or existing sketches can be shown and selected. In this example, let's use a pre-existing sketch. Once selected, the holes appear at each point. Alternatively, you may select points on an individual basis to place holes. To change the direction of the hole, click the flip direction icon. Holes created with the hole feature can only go through a part in one direction from the sketch plane. You may also use mate connectors to place holes. Unlike a sketch, the holes do not have to be on the same plane when using mate connectors. Select mate connector in the dialog, then pick a mate connector point. If you wish to move this hole, select the mate connector symbol next to the mate connector in the hole dialog and then realign or move as required. You may also select an existing mate connector in the part studio if one is already created. Finally, merge scope allows choosing what parts to apply the hole to. Selecting multiple parts applies the hole accordingly. When adding holes at different depths, uncheck start from sketch plane. The hole is created on the next face in the merge scope normal to the sketch plane. Start from sketch plane determines if the hole starts at the sketch plane or the first face. Clearing this option is useful when the sketch plane that contains the point or mate connector defining the hole is above the part geometry, but you want the hole to start at the face of the part. As multiple holes are added to the part, reviewing these can be a daunting task, especially when different sizes and patterns are involved. A hole table is available on the right-hand side of the graphics area to review these holes. Expanding this table displays holes created with the hole feature and includes any patterns of those holes. Holes created using a circle and extrude remove workflow are not displayed in this table. Hovering over a row in this table cross highlights the corresponding holes in the graphics area. Selecting a hole from the graphics area cross highlights the associated row inside the table. This table displays an automatically assigned tag to each hole, along with hole size and quantity. Quantity also includes any patterned instances of the hole. Expanding the overflow menu allows you to copy the table so you can paste it into a spreadsheet program. You can also add this table into a drawing sheet by selecting Insert Hole Table in the drawing toolbar. There are several options you can define in the drawing to determine how the table displays. More on this is covered in the detailed drawings course. The hole feature in conjunction with the hole table allows you to quickly create and manage holes in a simple to use interface within the part studio.